Have you ever seen a manta ray and wondered how powerful its sting was for such a giant creature? The answer to that question may surprise you. To the untrained eye, these creatures may appear to be similar, but put them next together and you will see vast differences. The Maritime Show presents Stingrays vs. Rays. The first, and arguably the most chief difference, is the fact that the manta ray cannot actually sting creatures, unlike the stingray. Stingrays have tiny barbs located on their tails which, upon contact, can seriously injure many creatures. While manta rays have long whip-like tails, not a single part of that tail contains a venomous barb, making these creatures quite harmless. The second difference is the sheer size of the manta ray. Many stingrays are very small, yet there are several large ones, where the largest ever recorded stingray had a wingspan of 7 feet. The largest manta ray, however, had an astounding wingspan of 30 feet. To put that into perspective, a manta ray's wingspan could grow to almost the same length as an adult humpback whale, far beyond the largest stingray. Another notable difference is the shape of the body of both types of creatures. The stingray has a very circular shape, allowing the stingray to flap different parts of its body in tiny motions to get around. The manta ray, however, has fins that resemble the wings of a bird, allowing it to glide across the water. The heads of the stingray vary between species, but no stingray has such a head as a manta ray. The manta ray has two cephalic fins near its mouth, resembling the pincers of an insect. These face fins enable the manta ray to net microscopic prey into their mouth. The last difference is the habitats and range of both the stingrays and manta rays. Stingrays are found in coastal regions and freshwater habitats throughout the world, even in polar waters. The manta ray, on the other hand, can only thrive in tropical waters but can travel along the shore or an open ocean, unlike the stingray. The manta ray and stingray, although they are both in the same class, are vastly different. Hopefully now you can go without worrying that a manta ray might sting you in the future while you are on the beach. That's all for today. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button, and if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode of The Maritime Show.